All right, allow me to just say that you do not know heartbreak until you create educational videos and the whole video is focused on you and not the education, but that's okay. I am learning and growing as a content creator and we got this. Second attempt to teach the circle of Willis, let's go. All right, so here I have a diagram of the circle of Willis. I'm going to tell you what vessels are um, a part of this diagram as well as we're gonna go over some questions to reinforce the education. So here is my diagram. I have nine vessels that I want to go over. Um, so if we start at the top, vessel one, you have A1 and A2, which is a way to um, define these vessels and that is going to first be your anterior cerebral artery. So we're gonna go ahead on this right side and put anterior. All right, so that's vessel one. So this is the anterior cerebral artery. Vessel two is also anterior, um, and vessel two is going to be your anterior communicating artery. All right, so you have your anterior cerebral artery, your anterior communicating artery, and now we are going to go ahead and plug in right here, vessel number three, and that is going to be your internal current <laughs> internal carotid artery. So this is going to be your terminal end of that ICA. Terminal. So it's a terminal portion of your ICA. And vessel four, I went ahead and labeled vessel four already for you. It is your middle cerebral artery, okay? And when it comes to the ARDMS exams, they ask you, is the middle cerebral artery a part of the ICA or not? And on the exams, the answer is that it is not. And the reason for that is because the circle of Willis comes about after the right and left ICAs enter into, well, enter in to, be, to create the circle of Willis. So, Vessel number four, middle cerebral artery, is not a part of the circle of Willis as regard to the ARDMS exams. So please know that. So now we're gonna get into number five. Number five, you have, now you're in your posterior portion, okay? Number five is gonna be your posterior communicating artery. And then number six is going to be your posterior cerebral artery. So we're still posterior. And then number seven is your basilar artery. I went ahead and just wrote that in for you. It's your basilar artery. And then you have your eight and nine, which are your vertebral arteries. Okay, your right and left vertebral arteries. So we went over nine vessels, um, and a lot of these are lateral, because I mean, like right here you have your posterior cerebral artery, but this is also your posterior cerebral. This is your also your posterior communicating artery, your terminal end of the ICA, your MCA, or middle cerebral artery. Um, here you have your anterior cerebral artery, as well as the anterior communicating artery, okay? So that's all the vessels right there, and I decided to, from my understanding, put what the circle of Willis includes, and that is your, um, a anterior cerebral arteries, we call it ACOM for anterior communicating artery, terminal ICA, posterior communicating artery, or PCOM, and then your posterior cerebral artery. So those are your circle of Willis vessels, and then these ones are outside of the circle of Willis. And now we have some questions that I would like to go over. So if you look over here, it says the vertebral arteries branch from the blank artery. And if you watched my previous video, if not, I'll make sure to go ahead and tag it in here. But the vertebral arteries branch from the subclavian artery. Let's put it in black. Okay, so you have a right and left subclavian artery and that gives rise to your right and left vertebral arteries. And that would just be down here. So if I wanted to draw in a rough sketch of a subclavian artery. Okay. And then you have vessels in the middle of that and but then you have your subclavian artery again. Okay, so your subclavian arteries give rise to your vertebral arteries, which come together to form your basilar artery. All right, so then going down to question number two, the MCA is or is not, so is or is not a part of the circle of Willis, 
in regards to the ARDMS exams. I mean, you're going to find literature that says, you know, one way versus the other, but in regards to the ARDMS exams, the right and left, um, the right and left terminal ICAs, like they enter the cranial cavity and they start to form that circle of Willis. Sorry if I was a little choked up right there. Um, so name the ultrasound study used to interrogate or visualize vessels of the circle of Willis. I'll give you a second before I give you the answer. So the answer that I expect to hear right here is going to be TCD and TCD stands for transcranial Doppler. Okay. TCD. So a TCD is, um, uh, usually done in sickle cell patients. And sometimes you also visualize the same vessels. If there's a vasospasm, um, study due to a patient having some type of injury with the head. So I hope you understand this circle of Willis video. And I hope that my camera is nice to me and that the focus is right. So that I can finally post this video that I originally created three weeks ago. Bye y'all.